The story of Serve the World really begins decades ago with uh, Chapel Street's commitment to missions. There was a growing commitment to what Chapel Street could do around the world. How could we be more involved in what God was doing around the world? Somewhere in all that, the idea bubbled up. Uh, might have been somewhere between Dave LeVan, Bruce McAvoy, and me to take that phrase, serve the world, and create that as our mission's emphasis. We started with that concept, almost like a what if we could do this, and we wanted it to truly create a deeper connection for the congregation, not just the money, not just, hey, let's raise money, because God's got all the money anyway, but can we use this to connect people to kingdom work in just a more deep and meaningful way? But we had a problem, and that was uh, while all this interest was growing and we wanted more and more people to get involved in missions, we struggled to um, fund all the things we wanted to fund because we had one church budget and there was a slice in that church budget for missions. And it was really hard to grow that like we wanted to grow it because to grow the little slice of missions in the church budget, you had to take away from other budgets like children's ministry or worship ministries. So we were, we were stuck. How do we get more people involved in missions? How do we grow our whole missions emphasis and how do we fund it in a stronger way than we ever have before? And it was Pastor Brian that said, what if we created a, a separate and distinct fund that people could give to that we could then re-gift and redistribute? And I thought, genius. And we were nervous about that because we were afraid that when you create a separate bucket, bucket other than your than your church budget, your general fund, that people will just kind of rob Peter to pay Paul to take money out of here and then give it to there. But actually what happened was people gave more and we realized that Serve the World now accomplished both purposes of helping more people see it as something they were involved with and it created the a, a bucket where people could give. Just watching the congregation engage with the different ministries in a deeper, more meaningful, more impactful way and deepen their heart and their love for a group of people struggling with AIDS in a remote part of Northern Nigeria or uh, in a youth camp in El Refugio in Ecuador. One of the gifts I remember very early was to invest in a skateboard park in Quito, Ecuador. This group of kids I don't feel like is, uh, is hearing uh, the, the life-saving message of, of Jesus Christ anywhere else. And the Lord has just has given us a wonderful opportunity. Es impresionante lo que puede hacer Dios. Puso puso en mi camino a Brock, the Rock Skate Church, y y mi vida cambió totalmente. When you meet people who are living and serving in different parts of the world, and you share a kind of fellowship that is really powerful and unique, it kind of took what was my interest into and a desire that I had to, to work for a Christian nonprofit, and it really like fueled that fire. What Serve the World has done for me is given me God's heart for the world. And, and that would be a, a hope for Chapel Street, that we would all be on a journey to have more of an understanding of God's heart for the nations.